What's poppin' peeps, it's your boy Jed, and I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while now. So the other day, I decided, you know what, I wanted to watch some anime fights, specifically some Baku Goat anime fights. But, you know, after five minutes of searching, I realized that Baku Goat doesn't have any 1v1 fights. I mean, he has a few, and the last one that was animated was during the third movie, and you know, that's a movie. But the last one that's manga canon was during season 3, where he fought and nerfed 5% Deku. That's it. We're done here. I won this fight. See, this is why I always say that Bakugo is the best, because his last fight with Deku, he won. He's never fighting Deku again 1v1. And for all the other people who are out there, oh, Deku's stronger now. Guess what? It doesn't matter! Who won their last fight? Exactly, Baku Goat. Now you guys see the problem. His last 1v1 fight was back during season three. It has almost been five years since Bakugo's last 1v1 fight. And if we're looking at it from the manga, it was released in 2016. So you're telling me that Bakugo has not had a fight, a 1v1 fight since 2016. For any other side character, that's fine. There's really no concern. But Bakugo is a rival status character. He is technically one of the main characters. And this man has not had a fight since 2016. This man is underperforming. And what makes it worse is that a lot of his 1v1 fights aren't really that special. A lot of them are just okay or mid. Let's take a look at all of Katsuki's 1v1 fights throughout the entire series. Deku vs Bakugo 1, good. Deku vs Bakugo 2, really good. Bakugo vs Kirishima. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I honestly forgot that they fought. Bakugo versus Uraraka. Good, but let's be honest. This really isn't a Bakugo fight. He's just a villain. He's just a side character in a side character storyline. Bakugo versus Tokoyami. <laughs> Bakugo versus Shoto. Good, but once again, this is mainly a Shoto fight. Bakugo versus the Amazing Bulk. You know, it was a fun little fight. Had some fun little animation, but it was a nothing fight. And then we got his last recorded solo fight. Bakugo versus Orochimaru from Movie 3. It was a fun fight, I'm not gonna lie. It had some spectacular animation, but at the end of the day, it's just a movie fight within the worst movie of the My Hero Academia movie trilogy. Now, out of all those fights, which ones are the most rewatchable? I'll tell you the answer. Only three of eight are rewatchable. That is 37.5%. That's a failing grade. And to top it off, if you take out Bakugo's fight with the Rochimaru, all of his 1v1 fights are before the overhaul arc. You know, the arc where Horikoshi just said fuck it and went absolutely insane with all of his fights. Because before the overhaul arc, all of his fights were crazy, but they were pretty tame. Now these motherfuckers are just blowing up buildings, huge explosions everywhere. Big booms, fast moving light, insane action from here on out after the overhaul arc. He has no fights post overhaul arc, which means we don't get to see him do some absolutely insane shit on his own. But when we do get to see him do some insane insane shit after the overhaul arc, this motherfucker is an assist character. Bakugo doesn't get any fights where it's just him, a villain, and his big explosions to keep them company. Nope, all we get is S tier assist Bakugo throwing explosions from the sidelines. We never got to see Bakugo's additional moves in a 1v1 fight or how he's matured in battle when he's the only one he could rely on. All we see now is Bakugo thinking, damn, how can I make myself useful to everyone else? Now, before I go on, I understand a lot of other characters in the series need more 1v1 fights. Shoto, Endeavor, Hawks, Tokoyami, all of them needed more 1v1 fights, but it's criminal that Bakugo didn't get a lot of 1v1 fights. No, no, scratch that. It's criminal that he didn't get a lot of meaningful 1v1 fights, besides his fights with Deku and Shoto. Bakugo really doesn't get to be the main star of the fights. I mean, sure, he had that battle against Class 2B, where he carried the entire team. I just think it's kind of crazy that Bakugo, the character that loves to fight, the character that loves to win, the character with a quirk that is built for combat, is nothing more 
than the guy who attacks you when you're already fighting someone. Bakugo really don't want to fight. When he says he's going to kill you, he actually means he's going to kill you. And he's going to do it by any means necessary. That means jumping you while you're already fighting someone else. And let's look at all the fights where he jumps someone. Jaku City, the fight against Nine, the fight against All Might, the current fight in the manga where Bakugo got sent back to the lobby. You know, people always ask me, why is Bakugo your favorite character? He's such an asshole. He's such a jerk. I always tell them he has great writing. He has an amazing design. He has a fantastic quirk. I say all these great things about Bakugo besides him being in a 1v1 fight. And what makes this fact even worse is that they had time to give Bakugo his own 1v1 fight. And it was during the Dark Deku arc. You know, the arc where the entire country of Japan became a GTA Online lobby because there was millions and millions of villains roaming the city. And you're telling me during that entire arc, while they were searching for Deku, trying to bring him back home, that they didn't run into not one single villain that they could fight. There were millions of villains out there. You couldn't just make up some random villain for Bakugo to fight. It enrages me that during that entire arc where there was millions and millions of villains roaming the street, the only person who got in a fight was Deku. Deku got into three fights during that entire arc, and one of them was against the class that was searching for him. What the fuck? The entire point of the Deku vs Class 1A fight was to show that Class 1A is willing to catch up to Deku, to show them that they are willing to fight alongside Deku. But up until that point, when were we showed that Class 1A was capable of keeping up with Deku, being able to fight alongside Deku? What, that they were able to collaborate and manage to catch up to Deku? The same Deku that was sleep deprived and running on 1 HP? There was plenty of time during that arc where Class 1A could have taken on a villain to show that they were capable of fighting alongside Deku. But nope, the opportunity is gone for Class 1A to have their own 1v1 fights. And we'll never get to see them have their own 1v1 fights besides fucking Shoto fighting his brother, we will never see another Bakugo 1v1 fight. Not only because we're in the last arc, but because this man has no HP. Actually, you know what? We might end up seeing another Bakugo 1v1 fight. When Edshot brings him back to life, Bakugo now has Edshot's quirk, and then he fights a returning all for one. Actually, why did I even say that? We all know what's gonna happen. Bakugo's gonna come back to life and he's gonna help Deku beat Shigaraki. Fuck! I'm mad because I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. And I really wanted Bakugo and Deku to be Batman and Superman. But now it's more like Batman and Robin. I can't believe that Horikoshi really wasted the smoke demon Bakugo to be an assist character. But hey, at least Bakugo can say that he's still one of the best characters in all of MHA.